Hello my gorgeous friends and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaylin and I post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would love for you to click onto that subscribe button down below and become part of our little family. But for today's video, we are doing another one of your favorites, which is a what I eat in a week video. And I just want to preface this video by saying that I do not follow any diets. I do not count anything. And so every single day looks different. And I also just want to put a little disclaimer that I never show y'all all my portions um, so I will show you you know a plate of spaghetti but sometimes I go back for seconds or thirds sometimes I don't finish my plate and I don't show that because I don't think that it's important and I don't want these videos to ever you know for us to have any comparison or an, or anything like that so I know I've said that in a couple of these videos but I just want to say that before we go on but today is Monday um, so I think we're going to start with a hot beverage, beverage, be beverage. I don't know why I'm saying so strange, but, um, maybe a matcha? Sounds good. Yeah. Picnic with my best friends. We start to plan what we will do. Now life's back in color and everything's feeling. Always say what's on their mind Leaving lipstick stains on tall glasses of wine Practically invented Being nonchalant for fun They tear apart Voltaire Just like afternoon croissants Strolling over bridges that were built in renaissance Isn't that what every romance loving 20-something woman wants? Midnight in Paris I've always heard that The puppies are eating and for lunch today, I am being pretty damn basic. I'm just using up some leftovers. I have these soft shelled tacos or tortillas. I'm gonna add in some leftover taco meat, some sour cream, salsa, and also some sharp cheddar cheese. If you've never had this in tacos, please do it. It's incredible. Typically, I love lettuce in my tacos for a nice crunch. Sorry, one of the dogs wants water. But I don't have lettuce. So we are just rolling with it, and that's not what we're having today. You wanna go on? Come on. Bye, baby. So I'm gonna whip up a quick taco, eat this, have like a more relaxed afternoon. Temperatures today are far higher than they've been for some considerable time in many parts of the country. We're certainly not out of the woods yet. It does look as if very gradually in the next day or so. And there we go. This looks heavenly. If it's not loaded with sour cream, do not get it near me, okay? I, I love my sauces. He's so pretty in the sun. Hey, good boy. Lunch is served. Hello friends, it is later and I am so freaking knackered. I don't even know if people say knackered anymore, but um, I got my COVID booster shot on Saturday because we are very pro-vax on this, on this page, on this channel. And today is Monday and I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm just feeling the tired effects of it. Um, and right now, I don't know, I feel like it's really slim pickings at home. I feel like it tends to I don't know, my weeks tend to start off that way. Um, I'm probably go grocery shopping like Wednesday or something. So I'll have like a little grocery haul later on in this video. But I wanna make a snack a slash an appetizer to like dinner. I'm not really sure. Again, I don't, I've been pulling away from labels <laughs> more like dinner, lunch, those kinds of things. Every day looks different. But I am craving a Greek salad. And so I'm gonna show you how I make my Greek salad because I think that it's the best. <laughs> Um, I don't like olives, so this is a Greek salad without olives, but if you like olives, do you, honey? Do you? Okay, so I have to chop everything. Oh, I have to wash things. When I was younger, I feel like I never washed my vegetables. It's probably like a really gross thing to admit online to thousands of people, but, um, I just, I didn't in the past, but... <laughs> I, I do now, I do. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash these and we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so we've got all of our veggies. We're gonna do some cucumber, bell pepper, and some tomato. And I'm just going to chop this up into like really small pieces. Honestly, the smaller, the better. You just kind of wanna be able to spoon the salad into your mouth. It's gonna be so good. Like honestly, just tiny little microscopic pieces. It's gonna be, ugh. I'm already salivating. 
All right, so I have the veggies in this bowl. I realized I this is the wrong size bowl, but more room to mix, I guess. And then I also diced up some red onion very finely, so I'm gonna add that into the bowl as well. All the veggies are like the same size, which makes it so good. Now, for the feta cheese. I like to crumble mine in. Some people like huge chunks of feta, but I like like a little bit of feta in every bite. You know, like I don't want a bite without feta. So I like to crumble it in. And this feta is so good. It's like a goat cheese feta. Mm. I feel like people love goat cheese or they think it tastes like farm. There is no in between. But I rip off a chunk and then I just <laughs> crumble it into my salad. It's gonna be so good. Then we're gonna add in some pepper and salt to taste and also some oregano. And then the dressing is so simple. It's just some balsamic vinegar or you could use lemon juice, something like acidi acidity, acidic. <laughs> and then also some delicious olive oil. Then we just give it a good mix. And there we go. Literally like the most perfect scoopable bites if it will focus. Beautiful, wow. And I just, I never get sick of it. It's amazing. Mm. Truly a masterpiece. All right, besties, for dinner or another snack, I'm not really sure, we're having some spinach dip. And if you wanna know the recipe for this, I made it in my last vlog. It's incredible. But I'm going to put that in the oven soon. It has to cook for like 20, 30 minutes. And I have some of these tortilla chips too. A pro tip is when the dip is done um, and it's just cooling and resting for a little bit, put your little tortilla chips in the oven. They get like hot just for a couple of minutes. They get so hot and just, and they're a little bit stale. And I find that it like brings it back to life. Something that I don't really talk about on my page, <laughs> I don't talk about it much at all. I think I've mentioned it once, but is um, my use of THC. I do use THC responsibly. It is legal here. There's no qualms about that. Um, I only use it to sleep. Um, I've never been a good sleeper, ever. My entire family can attest to that. I'm probably one of the worst sleepers um, that I've ever met in my entire life. This is literally the only thing that's ever helped me. Um, so I'm actually gonna have a little bit of this. It's like a mint cookie. Um, just because after dinner I'm going to bed. <laughs> or I, I will probably go to bed and go on TikTok for a little bit. CBD is also really great. I just, I don't have that. So today we are just nibbling on this cookie a little bit more. It's actually quite nice. I feel like there's a lot of shame around people who use THC. But um, we don't shame anybody on my page, so. And I'm 25, so please don't tell me what to do with my life. Um, yeah. I did that. I freaking did that. This smells so good. Wow. It's time for the taste test. This is incredible. Really, really good. Take me down to the water side. Let me drown in your blue green eyes. Take away all my plans today. I hope you stay. Cause I'm in love with the salt on your skin. Have you been my love? I'm in love with the salt on your skin. With the salt. I'm in love with the salt. Can we just take a second? Oh my gosh, wow. Today is March 1st and I'm pretty sure that's the first day of spring. Or maybe that's March 21st, I, I don't really know. But I was in a springy mood even though it's snowing outside and I decided to make these beautiful carrot cake muffins. They're so hot right now. They literally just came out of the oven so I've gotta let them cool for a little bit. But I'm pretty sure this is what I'm gonna have for breakfast today. I prefer carrot muffins cooled, but I'm a little bit impatient. So we're gonna have this hot with some butter. This is gonna be very, very hot, but it's gonna be good. That looks incredible. Cheers, besties. 
I did it again. I did it again. I feel like, yeah, they'd probably be better cold, but warm with some butter, there's just, there's something so special about that. And with my muffins this morning, I'm also gonna have an apple. So for my next meal, I'm not really, I never know what to call these, like snack, snack board, snack plate. I'm gonna make like a mini charcuterie board. I have some of these crackers from Costco, some cheese, um, what is this called? Pepper, cucumbers, some like charcuterie meats as well as hummus. And I'm just going to plate this up. Heard you were walking around Hempstead Heath Well, I was out in Camden Town You got your life all planned And I'm just Holy crap. This is a glorious, glorious snack plate. Wow. Gotta love crackers and hummus, baby. Hi besties, I just finished work for the day and I'm actually going to do a little bit of prep for dinner. I find that prepping dinner earlier on in the day is just, it's key for me to be sane in the evening because otherwise um, I will be a miserable gremlin monster because I'm hungry and tired. It's just a bad mixture. And so for dinner tonight, we're having sausage and then as the sides, I'm going to peel and chop up some sweet potatoes and just these two little like lonely yellow potatoes that are in my pantry. And then I also have some heads of broccoli and for these, I think I'm gonna do garlic and butter because yeah, who doesn't love a garlic and butter mixture? But I'm going to just prep the potatoes, have them all chopped and in the pot, prep the broccoli, have it all spiced up and ready on its tray. So that way when it's dinner time, this just basically has to go in the oven and I can go and read for the rest of the evening and like not, you know, worry about this. And I said oven, I meant, you know, cook it on the stove top. Anyway, you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Anyway, this lighting is horrendous, but let's chop. Okay, and there we go. We have the broccoli all chopped up. I also put some salt, pepper, and garlic. The potatoes are also ready to be boiled any minute. I forgot that I had these in the freezer, but they are basically like these banana slices with peanut butter, and then they're dipped in chocolate. So I'm gonna have a few of these. You guys, it turns out that my sausages that I was going to cook tonight are bad. Apparently these were like the best, well, the best before date was February 23rd and today it's March 1st. And I do not gamble, not that way at least. That's so sad, I was really looking forward to sausage. But shit can't be perfect, things don't go always, you know, my way or the, the way I had planned or expected and that's okay. Even if I was upset, it wouldn't change anything. So that's sort of my motto, like can I change anything? No, what's done is done. So yeah, not gonna hold any sort of, you know, uncomfy emotion because of that. I do still have the glorious broccoli that's gonna go in the oven as well as the potatoes. I don't really have much that would like go well with this. I'm trying to see what I have. I have some chicken tenders. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll add that. And <laughs> I have so many freaking popsicles. Oh my gosh. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll just make some some chicken with it. Also, I told you guys in my last vlog that I have to clean this um, and I and I haven't yet, so that's for tomorrow. Everything for dinner just came out of the oven and so I ended up making some chicken instead of the sausage. And then in the sweet potato mash, I just added some butter and sour cream and mashed it up. Look how soft it looks. And to the roasted broccoli, I'm just going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top and give it a mix and then we are all good. So the dinner that I had was absolutely incredible. I had some honey with my chicken tenders as well. And then I just had a hot dog because Andrew brought me one and I was still just in such a snacky mood. So I also had some like candy and chocolate as well as some of these chips. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I just woke up, I'm also so hungry. So I'm just, I'm snacking on a cookie. I also had a carrot muffin and, and some of these like tortilla chip scraps. I'd love some way to fix you, kinda, kinda just wish you. 
Hello besties. I'm still in my pajamas. Um, I don't see myself changing today, but we'll have to see. But for some lunch, I'm just boiling up some of these like plain macaroni noodles. And I'm going to add in some leftover broccoli from last night. I just chopped it up and microwaved it for a couple of seconds or like 30 seconds, I should say. And I'm also going to add in some cheese to make it like a cheesy broccoli pasta, basically. You guys, my lunch is done and it smells and looks incredible. And it's literally so simple. Just macaroni, a little bit of butter, some cheese and broccoli. And look at that. Truly heavenly. I love, I love this hairstyle for me, but I've literally been a bottomless pit today. I have had many, many, many Starburst and Skittle packages. And I've also had a bunch of these Kirkland almonds from Costco. And I'm typically more of like a meal person versus a snack person, but today I've been snacky and I've been just munching on those like all afternoon and I just ordered dinner the dogs are eating you might actually hear them but yeah I ordered dinner could I have cooked yeah but I didn't want to um so I ordered one of my favorites which is a club sandwich with extra mayo because I'm a saucy bitch um with some french fries and these are the only french fries that transport well <laughs> like I don't know if you've ever ordered takeout with french fries it's never good they're soggy they're pretty damn gross but these ones are like battered and delicious and crispy. And sometimes they send it with gravy and sometimes they don't. So I'm hoping that they do. It really, I think it depends on who works there um, or who's like cooking. But if not, we're gonna dip those fries in mayo. Yeah, mayo, amazing. Um, so I'm gonna watch Criminal Minds with my takeout. It's gonna be so good. Um, I will show you when it gets here. My food arrived. They gave me the gravy and the coleslaw. I am actually so excited. Let's open this box together. Beautiful, beautiful. The sandwich is under that tin foil. But this is what we're having today, bitches. Oh my God. This gravy is just, it's next level. Mm -mm -mm. Hello besties, we are eating and for our first meal, I just heated up some leftovers because I don't have a lot of time. It's been a super busy day and I've got quite a lot of work still to do. I ate most of the broccoli. This was yesterday, I think, right? Yesterday? Yeah. Um, so it's mainly just noodles with cheese and like butter, but that is what we're eating right now. Gorgeous friends. I just came back from a walk with the dogs. I, what is it called? Like shoveled the driveway. And now I'm just having a cup of apple juice because I feel like it. Um, I prepped some pulled pork for dinner tonight. You probably have already seen me clips of, you know, prepping all of that. I've already showed you how to make it in a previous video. If you type in heel with Kaylin pulled pork, it's gonna come up. So that's sort of the breakdown of what's what, what's what's been what, I guess. Um, I'm going to start editing this video right now just so I can be ahead of the game a little bit. Why not? And I will see you soon. Also having a snack before dinner. I have some of these little almond crackers, some cheese, hummus, cucumber. Mmm, delicious. And of course a little treat for the babies. Hey, you want a treat? Gentle. Gentle. Good boy. My little prince gets food deliveries. Good baby. 
Also, I know some people don't give their dogs cheese. Our vet says it's okay, so do you. So the pork just came out of the oven and it's going to just break apart so easily. Doing this with one hand is quite, quite difficult. But I'm going to shred this pork and then we're gonna add a little bit of barbecue sauce. And this is the barbecue sauce that we use. We really like it. And then we're just going to put some of the pulled pork on some of these brioche buns. Andrew loves double cheese, so there's that. Um, these are the buns that we're using. And then on the side, we're just going to have some of this creamy coleslaw. Is this karma? Or are you getting what you want again? I guess I'm finding it hard to believe in Something I couldn't see coming Good morning besties. It is Friday. The last day of this what I eat in a week video. My hair has its oil mask in because it's Friday and I've got to wash my hair today. I wash my hair like once a week twice a week if you're new here. I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, uh, for breakfast, we are going to be making some oatmeal because I've been craving it for, for a while now. Um, and I've got some beautiful spotty bananas and chocolates and peanut butter. Chef's kiss, it's gonna be, it's gonna be so good. Does rank mean like good or bad? Like that's a rank. I feel like it could mean either, but yeah. This oatmeal took me no time at all to make, and it's definitely my favorite combination. Incredible. Let's do a little bit of a taste test. This bowl is like almost too, too pretty to eat, but let's do it. A little bit of everything. Mm. Mm hmm The Kraft peanut butter is where it's at. It tastes like a warm oatmeal chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. I used to eat this all the time. I don't know why I stopped. It's incredible. We also have our morning coffee. You are in my cabinet, so I um, excuse the, the lighting. I really hope my camera doesn't fall. I've been in meetings for most of the morning and early afternoon, but Andrew went to pick himself up lunch and he's like a big poutine boy. He loves poutine. It's his favorite like food ever. I'm not the biggest fan. Not very Quebecois of me, but whatever. But he brought me home a hot dog with ketchup and onion, which is the best freaking combination on a hot dog ever. And we started dating four years ago. And I remember when we first started dating, like if he brought this home to me, I would have like internal panic. I might not eat it. I might throw it out. It was just not a good time. And now, this is me saying, screw you to my eating disorder. I can eat whatever the fuck I want. Thank you. Mm. I know some people hate hot dogs, but like, I, I really like them. I think that they're really good. I always bite like the two ends and then I eat the middle. My sister used to do that. We are having my father-in-law, his partner, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law over tomorrow for like a really late Christmas celebration. Cause I've not seen anybody in months. And so I'm just deep cleaning the house today. So I'm gonna be pretty busy with that. Listen to like a true crime podcast or something. This is like my pre-cleaning snack. And then after we'll, we'll make something together. Speak to you soon, babies. I'm taking a little bit of a break from cleaning. I basically just have to do like vacuum mopping baseboards. I'm gonna wash the dogs, give them a bath, and that's about it. I realized I never brought you to the grocery store because I, I didn't go. <laughs> There's a chance we might go today if we have time. And if I do, we'll still do a little bit of a haul. Um, and if I don't, then you will see a haul in my next vlog or my next what I eat in a day slash week. But because we didn't go grocery shopping, you can hear Tabasco outside. He's being a pain in the butt. Um, I'm just using what we have in the fridge. Some leftover brioche buns from the pulled pork. I'm just gonna add in some sandwich meat, mustard, and mayo, make a sandwich. And get Tabasco to stop barking first because I like my neighbors. I love a good sandwich. Mm-hmm. This is really hitting the spot. It's really good. So I finished cleaning today. The dogs are eating, you might hear that. And I ordered some food. I could not be bothered to cook. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got. But we have some garlic bread and it's still so nice and hot. Uh, sometimes I have to like warm up the food, but. Hmm. Not as garlicky as I would have liked, but good. Then I got some lasagna because it sounded really, really good. I almost spilled it everywhere. <laughs> I have to show you at a different angle. But this is what the lasagna looks like. I'm gonna try a bite. It's actually really good. Also came with like a little baguette. Love that for me. And then I was craving a salad. 
So I ordered their Caesar salad as well. Did I just spend like 40 bucks on food when I could have cooked? Yeah, but life's too damn short. So I'm going to eat some of this, watch The Office, and if I have anything else, you will see me again. I also ordered some cheesecakes, so let's do a little bit of a taste test. So the first one that we're gonna try is this brownie flavor. I love cheesecake. It's one of my favorite desserts. So good. Mm-hmm. A solid 10 on 10. So good. The brownie, mm. And the one I'm most excited for is this um, apple crumble cheesecake. Look at how good that looks. Wow. Mm -hmm. I definitely spent too much money on food, but YOLO. If you like videos like this, make sure that you click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to do something kind for yourself today, friends, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.